Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to game two of the MSOE D3 Raiders facing off against Eastern Michigan. Today is lineup for your MSOE D3 Raiders. Pitching and leading off, number eight, Jordan Dish. Uh, playing center field and hitting second, number 28, Talon Lutke, threw an absolute gem in game now one. Center field. What a legend. Uh, hitting third, playing short, number 10, President Gavin Wood. Playing first, hitting fourth, number five, Alex Thurman. Catching, hitting fifth, number 25, Sean Piggs. Playing third, hitting sixth, number 21, Will Klitsky. Uh, playing left, hitting seventh, number 24, Hudson Arnie. Uh, in right, number seven, Cameron DeBoer. And finally, rounding out the order, uh, playing second base, number 12, Sean Kennedy. And for the visiting Eastern Michigan, uh, leading us off, our center fielder, Waddell, catching, Wald Schmidt, in right, Mahmoud, 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 trying to get that name right. All right. In uh, playing third, Becker, playing first base, Raymond, DHing, Damas, uh, hitting seventh, Couturier. Hitting eighth, Wizgard, and rounding up the order for Eastern Michigan, Zuit. Probably butchered almost all of those names. So it's all right. Uh, I'm sorry. We formally apologize. We are engineers, not, not very I'm, good readers. I'm borderline literate, so <laughs> I know numbers, don't know what letters are. Jordan Dish, not typically a starter for his present years at the Milwaukee School of Engineering has moved his way into the starting rotation for D3 Raiders after an expansion from one team to two. He has one start earlier in this year against Winona, I believe, where he struggled, but he's looking to find it back here today against Eastern Michigan. Leading off for, for the Eastern Michigan, number two, Waddle. Hey, Derek, you got a speaker on the mic today? Hey, liver. Liver, come over here. Joining us in the booth right now is Oliver Holleron, shortstop from last game. Had a great, great day at the plate, a good day in the field. Oliver, how are you feeling about that win? Uh, you know, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, Talon pitched a great game, and we had good offense to back them up, keep them confident on the mound. It was overall a good game. Sounds amazing. I think the first pitch was taken for a Thank ball. You, Second pitch swung and I missed. As Jordan is able to even the count with Waddell. Jordan looks in, comes set, and delivers. Slow breaking ball on the outside corner, taken for ball two. I feel like Jordan's really going to need to uh, attack these hitters, you know, have his defense back him up. One thing that cost MSOE runs in the first game were, were walks and errors. And only one only one error, however, quite a few base runners were able to get on from a walk or a hit by pitch. Mm -hmm. Another breaking ball taken outside for ball three. These aren't terrible pitches, just just missing. Really trying to nitpick a corner here. As Jordan comes set and delivers ball four. Fastball misses off the outside corner. Now you try to get a ground ball here. Now batting number eleven, Wolfschmidt. Oh my elbow just popped. Jordan looking in for a sign. Nods, looks over at first. Waddell with a healthy lead over there at first base. Kicking a pitch, runner takes off, and the pitch is nowhere close. Higgs does a great job to get a glove on that as the fastball was behind the, behind the batter. Perhaps a little startled with the runner going right away. 
big base runner for Eastern Michigan being, Michigan being able to get that first runner right in scoring position right off the bat. As another pitch skips by Pigs catching as the as Waddell is able to gain another free 90. Jordan Dish facing adversity early in this game with a runner standing just 90 feet away from scoring as he falls behind 2-0. Infielders in, everybody in. Trying to cut down that runner at the plate as another pitch is taken up for ball three. Three zero. Pitch taken away as Jordan walks another. Runner is now on first and third. Middle infield moves back, trying to turn two with now the corner still. Number 31, Mahmoud. The Raiders runner takes off. Pitch called a strike as Pigs holds it, allowing Walt Schmidt to steal second. They're just going to steal. Why do you look so short standing right by him? <laughs> Pump set delivers. Pitch slammed to left over as it Hudson. gets over the head of Hudson Ernie. Two runs will come in to score. Mahmoud works his way into second as Eastern Michigan takes an early two run lead. Now batting for Eastern Michigan, number 33, Becker. Didn't seem like Hudson had a good read on that ball. That was down the line, a little over his head. Start, started with a step in, then backtracked as he was un, unable to come up with it. First pitch on the inside corner, take it for strike one. Doesn't look like Becker agrees with it. with a very wide stance. Looks like he's almost facing, chest facing the pitcher. Jeez. Swung on and hit out the left. Hudson camped under it and he's able to record the first out of the inning. That one he looked a lot more comfortable with. Good catch now batting Hudson. number 16, Raymond. Jordan A. Lanky righty. <laughs> Standing all the way on the first base side of the rubber. Winds and delivers. A ball in the dirt blocked by Pigs. Preventing that runner on. Preventing that runner on second from moving up an extra 90 feet. Gavin Wood, the shortstop, kicking. Time called by the batter, Raymond. Jordan delivers a pitch that is swung on out to right. As Talon is center, my bad. Center, my apologies. I know my directions, I promise. As, as Talon is able to come up with that one to record the second out of the inning. Now this is what's, what Jordan's going to have to do. Now batting number four, Demos. If he's looking to have success, he's going to have to fill up the zone and allow these Eastern Michigan batters to put the ball in play to record outs. As another pitches by Pigs. Wild hit. Jordan's going to have su success letting them put the ball in play. And, uh... That was a nice one, Chip. Allergy <laughs> stream. <laughs> Second pitch fouled off well early on that pitch. It's a. Uh, oh, what was that pitch ball? That uh, Gus Bus references from Bench, bench, bench Warmers. 
iconic baseball movie. Iconic baseball movie. As Jordan gears up for the third pitch of the fourth pitch of that bat, excuse me, as the pitch is taken up for ball three. Ball nice. chopped foul as the third base coach feels cleanly and fires back to Jordan. Well done. Much better than Very Bruno. Very nice play. Great play. Much better than Bruno last game. <laughs> Much better. Full count pitch. Misses well outside as Pigs comes up ready to throw. Number 27, Couturier. I guess I'd say so. I definitely put oh, you is that. He wood? Is he swinging wood? He's swinging wood. With no uh, batting so gloves. That's, that's our president. Kyle no Tucker batting gloves? Swinging the wood bat? That's oh, our president. Man. Why are you swinging wood? That's their president? Our president. Oh, yeah, that is Woody. <laughs> but Woody only swings wood. First pitch misses upstairs for ball one. This man, this man does kind of uh, have a Kyle Tucker-esque vibe as he uh, stands in the box. No batting gloves. Grip tape on the wood bat. Swinging a fly ball out the left field. Hudson drifting towards the left field line. Nice catch. And he's able to come up with it. Recording yeah. the third and final out of the inning. You know, might be very Eastern Michigan. Eastern, like Eastern Michigan able to put two on the on the Raiders that inning. All right. Let's see if uh, the Raiders can come up with an answer of their own in the bottom. Leading off for the Raiders this inning, our pitcher Jordan Dish, <laughs> trying to help himself out here with a little, little base runner early here. Jordan Dish is considered the new Shohei Otani of club baseball. No, that's talent. Everyone, everyone that pitches is the club baseball Shohei Otani. All of our pitchers like to hit. Oh, as a ball is chopped right back to the pitcher on the first pitch. Throw me away. <laughs> so does that and make me Shohei Otani? <laughs> no. Sure. I can't really hit these. <laughs> <laughs> Next up for your Raiders, number 28. Talon. Talon Ledke. I really hope the mic picked that up. I don't pull that in my direction. Here we go, Talon. I, I, I don't know if he's going to make sure I can see First pitch taken up and away for ball one. Talon Ledke had an absolutely phenomenal pitching performance last game, able to hold Eastern Michigan to only two runs, one of them earned. As Just he swings up. at a ball that's fouled down the right field line. Just gave up that one big hit that scored two. But other than that, he shut him down that. pretty good. Got Struck out nine, I believe, not, not, if I'm not mistaken. Nine through seven innings pitch. That is pretty, pretty good performance, I say. Great, so great numbers. Pitch very efficiently, able to throw that breaking ball for a strike early in the count as he takes a pitch Just that's off the outside ball. corner for ball two. I appreciate the... Uh, Ball got in on his hands oh, and he, he spoils it. Oh no! Strike two. Sorry. It is. Those guys are easily mixed. <laughs> it is out of from last year. That's foul ball. Price with the wine and the two-two pitch. Chucks check swing. 
strikeout. Strikes him out. It's a really funky wind up at the end of the day. These guys are nothing but weird. Bringing up to the plate, number 10, President Gavin Wood. Prez. Whoa. Mr. Whoa, Prez. call time. Pitcher halfway through his windup in his third baseman wasn't even in his spot yet as the pitch is delivered away for ball one. This guy likes to work quick. Takes his time it's a little too quick. Away. Man, I can't believe Prez put uh, a three channeling ball. his inner Nestor Cortez with that windup. That was interesting. Ball Ooh. kicking. One one. Delivered yep. for strike one on the outside court. I forgot to press the ball button. Kevin Wood, a junior mechanical engineering student. Ball off the end of the bat, slow roller up the middle. Shortstop He's cannot come there. up with it. Attaboy. As Gavin Wood is able to reach base. We're giving that a hit. I would have to five. agree. Gavin Wood, showing why you need Now batting, number five, hit. Alex Thurman. <laughs> Alex Thurman with a great game last game as well. A big triple. Able to come up with a big triple down the right field line that scored two to tie the game. Let's see if he can do the same here. First pitch fastball taken for strike one. No, that is a two hundred dollar Dyson right there. It is. I stole it out of the coach's office. <laughs> Ball chopped down the third baseline foul. Third baseman not giving Roman an opportunity to field that one. As so stealing reps from our, uh, from our shortstop. As Alex falls behind, o oh, two. I want our horn blow. Price a righty. Working off the third base side of the rubber. Kick and delivered. Ball chopped up the middle. And the shortstop steps on second to record the third and final out of the inning. MSOE no runs on one base runner. And we move to the top of the second. Leading off the second inning for Eastern Michigan. Second baseman Wisgard able to sneak one by Big Will Klitschke over there at third base for a leadoff single. Bringing up the nine hitter, Zewitt. Number one, Zewitt. Played shortstop today. Can 
Jordan Dish with a kick and a delivery. And a ball that's flared out the left off the end of the bat. Hudson camped under it, able to put a squeeze on it, recording the first out of the inning. It's been getting a lot of action. Now batting number two, Waddle. Flip the order around. See if we can get a ground ball. Waddle able to earn himself a walk in his first at bat. Waddell able to waddle over to first. Jordan giving attention to Wizard at first as he delivers a first pitch outside for ball one. Jordan looks in, nods. Kick and deliver. Fastball. Nowhere near the zone. Bounces it in there for ball two. Runner goes. Throw on the second. Not in time. Pitch is cut on a missed. Able to record the first strike for the at bat. Go to work by pigs to keep that ball in front of him. Big swing and a miss. Carlos Gomez that almost Helman lost almost, Helman almost came off his head. Almost lost the bucket there. As the count turns full. Almost lost the melon protector. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that that the walk. Waddle turns away from a pitch that just misses off the inside corner. Earning himself his second walk of the game. First pitch seemed like a break. batting number eleven, Waldschmidt. Seemed like a breaking ball off the outside corner. Ground ball in a second. This looks like it could be two on to Woody at second, and he's not able to come up with the. Oh, going home. I don't know what he was thinking. As he's thrown out at home. Wow. I don't know what the, the thought process was there, but uh, must have thought the ball got past our first baseman, Alex Thurman. That but no, sir. No, him. sir. That something gets by Alex. A ground ball to Sean Kennedy flipped over to Gavin Wood at short, recording the force out at second. Throw on to first, was unable to get the batter. However, the runner trying to steal a run, cut down at home. For the Number 25, Sean Pigacelli. I definitely fucked it. Sean. 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 Sean.
Sean Piggs had a swung a hot stick earlier in this game one as he takes. Oh, I'm still playing the walk up music. My goodness gracious. Pull your head out of your Behind. rear. Your rear. As a ball is swung on grounded to short. Throw on to first in time. Oopsies. Looks like they put a better lineup out there in this game. I think there's I think they realize that our defense team's not a pushover that they thought. Mm-hmm. D3 team is ranked uh, what fourth in the nation? Second, Second in the nation going into this game. As the first pitch is taken inside to Will Klitsky. Second only Will Klitsky. Will Klitsky. They, uh, Somehow. They look, they see D3 and I think, oh. Ball two inside. Oh, ball oh, ripped blister. into the gap. That could Get be by. extra bases. Get by. Big Will rounding first, headed to second. And he will be in there for a stand-up double. a boy. Absolutely. Ambush to the 2-0 fastball. Next up for your Raiders, number 24, Hudson Arnie. Give me a horn. Give me a horn. That ball was ripped off the bat of Big Will in the left center. Very nice. Very First nice pitch, job. ground ball up the middle. Shortstop, unable to come up with it. Big Will, rounding third, headed for home. There will be no play at the plate. Big Will is in, standing up. Hudson with an RBI seeing, base hit. Seeing eye single. Now batting for your Raiders, number seven, Cameron DeBoer. Back. I apologize. Move over to first, not in time, as Hudson's able to Cam dive likes, back in safely. Cam likes to work quick. I uh, did not expect him to step into the box as quick as he as quick as he oh, did. Yeah. So I uh, first pitch swung on a miss. He was able to work a a clutch. He was able to get a single after yeah. going down 0-2. He was able to clutch a a base hit in his in a pinch hit appearance in the first game. As he cuts on and misses at a ball that was above the zone. Cam, one of our fifth years. Another move over to first, not in time. Industrial engineering major? Industrial yeah. engineering major. Another veteran of the program, a fifth year senior. Love him to death. Another fastball taken right down the middle for strike three. Bringing up number 12. Now batting number 12, Sean Kennedy. We call him Uzi. Why? I'm not entirely sure. I was not there for the origin of that nickname. First pitch cut on and missed for strike one. But I like it. Fits him very well. In. Whenever, whenever uh, he's not sure on what to do, we just ask him, what would Uzi do? What would Uzi do? Now, the question is, what would Uzi do here? So you miss on strike two? Mm -hmm. Oh, a ball hit in the center field. That's going to bloop in there. That's exactly what Uzi would do right there. Good piece of two-strike hitting there from Sean out of the nine hole, able to turn the lineup over. Now batting for your Raiders, number eight, Jordan Dish. Jordan Dish looking to help himself out here. Trying to get a run to tie this game up. Any ball in the outfield may score Hudson. He's got some wheels over there. I imagine that Roman over there at the third base coach batter box is going to be real aggressive sending him around third on any ball in the outfield. As the first pitch is in there for strike one. Hopefully Ohai can help his cause here. Get it back to the pitcher for the first one. See Ball. if he does something better this time. Foul back for strike two. The strike's got to be aggressive here. 
Got to shorten up and put the ball in play at the very least. Make a make a play. This curveball ball spun up there by Price. As Jordan cuts on and misses. Jordan goes down swinging. Retiring the third out of the inning. As we head to the third, MSOE trailing 2-1. Leading off the top of the third for Eastern Michigan, three hitter, Mahmoud, able to uh, blast the double or the head of Albany Hudson in left field. Let's see if he can make an adjustment for this at bat. Jordan comes set and delivers for the first pitch. Fastball on the inside corner taken for strike one. Yeah. As Mahmoud is willing is able to work a one one count. Big curve ball taken outside. A little bit deeper than this. Yeah, I'd like to see Hudson respect him a little more after blasting a ball over his head in his first at bat. Maybe tail the line a little bit. Perhaps. Perchance. Big gap in left center. Ball ripped down. Into the hole between the shortstop and third baseman as Hudson knocks it down and left. And Mood is on with another single. No. Uh. -uh. uh, -uh. Bringing up the third baseman, Becker. Flew out to Hudson in his first at bat. Uh, I'm just going to not do the mic. Trying to see if uh, he can roll a ground ball here and see if the Raiders can turn two. First pitch ripped into left again. Hudson almost didn't have to move, but he's able to camp under that one and record the out. I think he's recorded a majority of the outs today, Hudson. I agree. I agree. I also looks like a four. I four. I can cut. Getting a lot of action out there and left. Very good. Yeah. Very nice. Yes. Oh, second base. Left fielder. Yes. Hudson. Jordan kicks and delivers the first pitch fouled off. King on left field. King on left field. Strike one. Guys, are you doing the 
ball ripped to second. This could be two. On to Woody at second. Woody on the first double play. Double play! Gavin Wood and Sean Kennedy able to spin a beautiful double play there to get us out of the third. 4 6 3. 4 yeah. 6 3. Uh, that's some good defense right there from your MSOE Raiders. We will see you in the bottom of the third. Talon Lucky. Starting us off in the bottom of the third, Talon Lucky. Out in center this game after throwing a gem in the first. The first game, that is. Talon's what, 200? Yes, sir. First pitch taken off the outside corner for ball one. Good take. Good take by Talon. Not only is he a great pitcher, he's a great hitter. Second pitch fouled back as the count evens. Oliver hustling nicely to get that foul ball. Curve ball up in the zone, cut on and missed. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget your D2 Raiders play just a few hours after the D3 Raiders second game. Finishes up as Talon Lukey is able to slash a ball through the hole on the left side for a base hit. Hey, what'd I say? Also a good hitter. Absolutely. Yeah, but don't forget your uh, D2 Raiders face off against UWM at 5 p.m. I'm telling you, Talon is the Shohei Otani of this team. Bringing up Gavin Wood. Shortstop. Prez. Takes a first pitch off the outside corner for ball one. El Presidente. Striking game one. It very well could have been. Uh, very it, much. It, very very well, well. it very well could have been. As Gavin squares around a bunts one right back to the pitcher. Fielded cleanly. Thrown on to first. Well done there. Gavin Wood to put the tie and run in scoring position with one out. Mississippi Queen. Now up, first baseman Alex Thurman. First baseman covering a bunt. I don't know why. Yeah. First pitch. Ooh! <laughs> oh, There's your strike. Yeah. There's your strike, Beth. There's a strike I was talking about. Uh, <sighs> I don't think that's like baseball. That one, that's, that's baseball. That's baseball. Really the words of our favorite World Ball Series Ball ripped on the short. Oh, Play no. goes the third. He's safe. No! He was in there. And Talon is Talon. retired. Bad call. Try to get a little greedy on the bases there. Bringing up Sean Piggs. Today's catcher in this game, too. Last game's right fielder. As he takes a first pitch strike. Second, Second pitch strike. Same exact spot. He's going to have to pull the trigger here on anything near the zone. Looks like the softball game's going on over there in Nicolay's 
That's a block. Curveball fouled off. Oh. Count is 0 2. Another curveball cut on and missed. As the side is retired. MSOE unable to scratch a run off of a leadoff base runner as we move to the top of the fourth. Welcome back to uh, Raiders Stadium, top of the fourth inning. This is Aiden stepping in for Derek. He's in the bathroom right now. <laughs> TMI, I know, but Jordan Dish's first pitch to him is popped way up and out. Foul ball for strike one. That's one way to get ahead. Kind Very of nice. the story of the series with Eastern Michigan. They can't really, like, hit the ball hard in play. Indeed. Jordan Dish gets his sign, a pitch he likes from Pigs, and the pitch is a squibber right back to Jordan. Fields nicely and throws to first for the first out of the inning. You Very know, nice play by Jordan. Do your PFPs, kids. Oh, I like to call those uh, swinging bunts, but, you know, that's just poor contact. <laughs> These guys are, like, not hitting the ball hard in play, and that's what we're really, like, looking for, like, this is a ranked D2 team, and our D3 team has really taken care of them very nicely with their pitching staff. Jordan really Jordan settled Dish's in. Jordan first pitch. Jordan really That's settled in after his ball. first outing, and he has been stellar today, I would say. He has. He has. He's, uh, he's, thrown, he's thrown a lot of strikes. He's gotten a lot of weak contact and let our defense work for him as the second pitch is also low for ball two. Pig's nice block. Gets Keanu a little away from him. Chip, 0-2. Sorry, just had to let our uh, scoreboard know that he is slacking. But overall, great job by our pitching staff today to keep Eastern Michigan to two runs in the first. And oh, Hat's then, third pitch much. is Sword! Sword! is swung at and swung on and uh, is high. You know what? Great pitch by Jordan there because that pitch wasn't anywhere near the zone, and he he got that guy swinging on a pitch that he shouldn't swing at, and that is. Popped up out of play. Yeah, I'll catch a ball up here in the booth. It's 2-2. Two, two. Through the glass. Through it's the two, glass, yeah. 2-2, two, two, right? We do have the windows closed, but that had a I chance. 2-2. I don't know the count was. I just got here. I'm pretty sure it was 1-2. 1-2. 2-2, I don't know. Foul back. back again. I mean, these guys are swinging at almost anything. They're trying to make something happen after game one where they really struggled to hit. And just... Just poor, poor, like, 
everything in the box. Like they don't have good, they don't have good contact. They don't have is that ball's taken? good presence in the box. And our pitchers are really just as far as I'm concerned. The count is three two. I'm pretty sure it's three two. It is three two. Indeed. Full count. Full count. And here's the payoff. Low ball four. Pimped it. Bat flip. I'm gonna hand you back over to Derek. Pimped it, but probably shouldn't have because he should. He didn't earn that. I got it. I got it. I'm on got it. it. I'm on it now. I'm now batting it. 18. Wizgrid. Oh, it's Wizgrid. Oh, Wizgrid Wizard. in the in the eight hole. Gizzard. Let's see if uh, our middle infield can turn another double play. Number nine. We got a pinch hitter. Number nine, Klotz, in for Wizgard, that is. Jordan kicks and delivers a first pitch ball. Pig's doing a good job to stay in front of that ball. Yeah, he really gobbled that ball up, you say. Oh, pinch hitter here. I said that. Second pitch taken for a ball outside. I know you said that, but we just got confirmation of that. Thank God. Thank God. We do need the confirmation from the dugout. Thank God for liver. Our, uh, our team's uh, Mormon, Mormon baseball player over here. Jordan with the 2-0 pitch. Runner faints a steal as the ball is up and in and hits him. Jordan looking towards the dugout, wondering if he'll get any relief. He really hustled that one out, but... You know, I don't think he could have. You he got hit in the upper shoulder. That didn't look like a lower leg injury. Now batting number one, do it. Love the effort overall, though. You know, you don't see that nowadays. Middle infield still looking to turn two. With a roll ball here. With one out, first pitch inside ball one. Eastern Michigan has given us a lot of ground balls up the middle today, and I think our, our I think our middle infielders can turn one here. You know, you never know what these batters are thinking, but Jordan's been Jordan's been pretty sneaky. Kicks and delivers. Ball in the dirt, blocked by Pigs. Jordan really having a tough time to find the zone here. Let's see if he can get one over. You know, he's got one out here, and I kind of like the approach of pitching pitching around this guy, see if he can swing at some. There's a pitch in there for strike one. Great pitch by Jordan there. Just, just get back, you know? Don't you agree, Derek? I do agree. You know, to be a successful pitcher, throwing strikes is important. Yeah, but, like, coming back in a 2-0 count, like, it takes a lot of balls to throw an off-speed for a count like that, in a count like that. Ball outside brings a 3-1 count. You know, these guys are getting some big leadoffs here. I'd like to see a pickoff here, don't you think? And a running lead from the runner on second as that ball hits him. You can't just hustle everything out, you know. I know you got hit by pitch, but, yep. man, sometimes you can take your time. It hurts, you know. Not everybody has ice bags. Looks like we're going to have a mound meeting as our coach and catcher in the first game. Roman Skrupa hustles out there. No, uh Roman Skrupa. You know, he's got a lot of insight for these guys. He can really tell them, like, he's been a pitcher for his whole life. He's been a catcher his whole life. He knows what's going on in those pitchers' minds. Great athlete is Roman Skrupa, a wrestler in high school. And it looks like we're going to be having a pitching change here as number 11, Bruno. Bruno, Bruno, Bos Bruno Bosman. Number 11, Bruno Bosman. As Bruno Bosman hustles back onto the field. We will see. I love you, Snakey. Hi, Snakey. Oh, great. We will see dad. Jordan Ooh, hustle like out to center. I imagined that talent we may move to shortstop. Woody out of the game. Or, yeah, Woody, Woody pulled himself out of the game. Yeah. You know what? Bruno is normally a D2 player for us, and he is one of our flex players. We get a couple of them, handful. And you know what? Bruno's got a great arm. 
He can play anywhere in the field. He catches. He plays infield. He's played everywhere but first base, pretty much. That's my spot. Ooh. And... Does Bruno have a pitching song? No, it plays walkout. No, but that's not long enough. Bruno will be hitting in the three-hole for Gavin Wood. Oh, maybe not. Great hitter. He has bad luck on home runs, but he puts the ball out there a lot. He can really drive the field. And, you know, some might say he might challenge Talon for the role of Shohei Otani on this club. Like, um, looks like Gavin Wood is going to be moved over to third, and that would result in Will Klitschke being out of the game. Uh, no kidding. 21. So that would result in Will Klitschke be, be, being taken out of the game in favor for Bruno Bosman. So Bruno Bosman will be hitting in the six hole. Bruno's, Bruno's going to give us a chance to get out of this year. I mean, the fuck out of here. Uh-uh. <laughs> First pitch. Taken upstairs for ball one. Bruno's got a good arm. I mean, he's catching his whole career. He's got a great pop time, good throw down to second base. He went to, he is from my alma mater, Huntley High School. Thank you. I know him Second pitch well. cut on and missed for strike one. <laughs> former football player, former quarterback. He was considered the Lamar Jackson of our high school. He did it all. Kicks and delivers a curveball, caught the corner. And he is, I mean, delivered a one-two count. That was a beautiful curveball that was able to be spotted on the outside corner right there. Just great pitch by Bruno there. <laughs> the one-two. And it is caught on the corner. Hey, Sit down! What did I say, Derek? He's going to get us out of this year. That was a beautiful pitch right there. Big out. These guys just don't know what's coming at them. Now batting 11, Wolschmidt. They're lost in the batter's box, and... You know what? I think Bruno is going to take advantage of that. I'd like to see Bruno to throw more of that curveball. Looked like uh, he had no idea what was coming there. First pitch, fastball cut on to Sean at second. Over to first in time. Bruno, absolutely beautiful job coming in with the bases loaded and able to retire two straight batters without allowing a run. And a great job by the defense there. Just make that easy play. You know, it's not as easy as it looks sometimes. Eastern Michigan failing to put up a run with the bases loaded and one out as we head to the bottom of the fourth. Bruno Bosman leads off the inning. Oops. We have the bottom of the fourth, my apologies. Bruno Bosman leading off the bottom of the fourth. Came in for relief for Jordan Mr. Dish Jordan. in the top of the fourth. Able to retire the final two batters to escape the inning without a scratch. His number is 11, sticks. And for good reason, too. He swings a good stick. Absolutely. Takes a second pitch in there for strike one. Oh, that looked like a good pitch to hit. I imagine he wants that one back. Gives a little shake of the head knowing that he may not see a better pitch this at bat. Until he works it. A little breaking ball spun up. Fly it out to left field. And it is caught.
Next up for the Raiders, number 24, Hudson Arnie. Hudson looking for something to get the Raiders going here in the bottom half of the fourth with one out as he checks his swing on a breaking ball that's in there for a called strike one. A ball that's blooped out towards second base. The shortstop is over to catch it right behind the bag as the second out of the Next inning. Next up for your Raiders, number seven, Cameron DeBoer. Cam went down looking in his first at bat. Takes a first pitch breaking ball in there for strike one. Ooh, they respect him enough to throw a breaking ball. Nice. This guy's been feeling his curveball. Second pitch breaking ball flared out towards the right field, and that will fall on the, on the warning track and bounce out of play. Foul ball. That wind is killer. Let's see if he can straighten it up. After seeing back-to-back -back breaking balls, I'd be hard-pressed to see another one. I imagine he's gonna go, just going to go with a fastball right down the middle here. Challenge him. I'd like to see Cam get on one here. Fastball taken upstairs for ball one. Good take. Even though that pitch looks so upstairs, it always looks so tempting. And the one-two pitch is in there for a called strike three on a fastball on the outside corner as the side is retired and we will move to the top of the fifth We got a deep sense defensive substitution here in the now batting number thirty one Mahmoud. In the top half of the fifth, we have our second baseman Liver in there at second base as the first pitch hits Mahmoud for a leadoff base runner. Liver in here earlier this game in the in the press box for a little interview. Now batting number thirty three Becker. Now he's in the game. He does it all. Absolutely. Wish we had him mic'd up. Oh, uh, that would be something. Have a little little in-game interview. Something tells me that's not in the club baseball question. Yeah, you might be right there. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> unless unless we want to have a, a donor give us <laughs> up, upgrade the <coughs> production budget as that ball is flying a mile high out the center Can't field where Jordan is inning. camped under. Can't what? Losing it. For the first out of the inning. We raised 100 bucks for our dreamer last night. I think it. Now batting number 16, mm -hmm. Raymond. Oh, yeah, here we are. There you go. He wants that one next. Okay, gotcha. That's all I got. Raymond was the, a victim of that hard double play ball where Sean Kennedy was able to flip one over to Gavin Wood as Press that's a fly catch. ball Press. over to third base side as Woody. He made it! Was oh. unable to come up with it. 
I don't know why he's throwing that ball to second. He but thought he caught it. Yeah, I, uh... Moving down the field. Ah. Uh, looks like he had it, but then that little, like, bobble between the legs is probably what sealed it. Almost had it. Almost had it. Put the headset on. Challenge. Also, I don't think that... I don't think that's in the rule book. Second pitch, cut on and fouled off. It's not a lot. Bruno gets ahead here. There's not a lot in the rule book. 0-2? 1-2? I don't know. The first uh, I think it's 0-2. 0-2. I don't know. 0-2. Okay. I thought they were talking about pitch. Now, now it's 1-2. One, one, I, I was, I was Third pitch is a fastball. Bounced in there. For ball one. Breaking ball, just nicks him. <sighs> With one out in the inning, the Raiders are still looking to turn a double play here. With liver, with two freshmen, liver and town up the middle, that is certainly a possibility. Alex playing on the grass to cover a bunt. Our outfield playing straight up. That's the first pitch is reported as a ball. Big swing and a miss. Strike one. Ball fouled back. Looked like a. Uh, oh. Yeah, one two. Got a one two count. Let's see if Bruno can put him away. Coming set. Kick and a deliver. Fastball gets past pigs. And that will eliminate the chance of a double play ball. Slipped on the mound or something. Just that did not look pretty. That one got away from him. Back to it in behind the rubber. Fastball ripped over to left, and that's going to be down the line of oh. foul ball. Interesting. Does the Raiders get bailed out there? That would have scored two. Close play down the line. We will try it again. Bruno comes set for the 2-2. Fastball pops straight up. As Pigs runs back to the screen, it is out of play. Good. We can do a little scoreboard update after the conclusion of the same. Another 2 2 pitch. Oh, it was a full count pitch, my apologies. I was off good. Uh, ball's taken inside for ball four. Brings up a force play at the plate. Again, Raiders looking to turn two here. First pitch in there for a strike. Fastball blows it by him for strike two. Burrow's way up now. Got him right in the right where he wanted him in the driver's seat. Working out of the windup with the bases loaded, a chopper to third. Woody cannot come up with it as the runner heads home as he scampers back to third. 
that will go down in the book as an error on our third baseman, Woody. That's a, that's a tough one to give up right there. That guy should have been out at the plate, possibly even a double play ball. A little 5 2 3. Instead, it'll go down as an error and a run as the first pitch is fouled off. Yep, 0 1. Second pitch. Second pitch bounced off the front of the plate and up and over. Pigs allowing another run to score. Ladies and gentlemen, this is getting quite ugly. Not a, not a sight to see right here. <clears throat> All right. Kicking a pitch. Fast ball taken down. Smothered by Pigs at the plate. Oh, he's down. Looks like he's hurt. He's fine. He's a little bit of a Charlie horse there. Maybe a little bit of a cramp. Run the box. Oh yeah, he's cramping up. He needs some milk. He needs some water. He needs some water. And this league's winning against Roy. He needs uh needs some bananas. Because monkey, monkey, monkey never cramp. Monkey never come. We need to get Munenori Kawasaki up here. All right. Little, uh, maybe a trainer or a uh, health advisor for the MSOE club baseball team. Scoreboard update while we wait. Yeah, we can do a scoreboard update. So for scoreboard update, we'll start off with our varsity team playing Aurora at Aurora. They are currently up 7-4 in the sixth inning. And... Would we like to do major leagues? Sure. Or, um, Quick update on the Brewers score. They are playing the Cardinals. It is the bottom of the first right now. It is now two to one after Nolan Arenado ripped a one run double to left. Did we win last night? Cubs play a doubleheader today, yeah. starting here at uh, one twenty. Bottom of the second, still scoreless. I was, I was watching the nine and yeah, like I saw that taking over catcher. Walk. Looks like Pigs will be out of the game with that hamstring cramp, what we presume. Well, we can go all the way around the league, I suppose. You know, we got some time here. Rays, Yankees, still scoreless in the bottom of the seventh. That's a good game. Tigers and Twins are scoreless in the bottom of the second. Liver, I know you're listening. Uh, Marlins. Liver's at second base. He, he is not listening. <laughs> He's not listening. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have uh, quite a few afternoon games here around the MLB. We got the Red Sox facing the Pirates in uh, Pittsburgh, Mets facing Dodgers in LA. Those are both at 305, as well as the Astros and Nationals, a little interleague play there. Also at 305. Diamondbacks, Giants, a little NL West matchup. Uh, athletics face the Guardians. That could be, you know, a, quite the interesting game. That's at <laughs> that's a, one word for it. <laughs> that's at five <laughs> ten. Uh, more interleague play between the Angels and the Reds. Same thing with the Rangers and the Braves. More interleague play. We also got the Orioles facing off against the Royals, Mariners, Rockies, and Blue Jays, Padres. Full slate of MLB games. A lot of baseball. Baseball fans, you got a got a lot to watch here. Even four games for. Your MSOE club baseball team here. Club Great baseball program. Baseball. Full Saturday baseball. Absolutely. Romans for Bupa. Yes. It looks like Romans taking over the catch. Yes. Got a little will, duck tail hanging behind him. We will have a straight substitution here. Uh, Roman in for pitch. Now catching for the Raiders, number six, Roman Scarupa. As Bruno takes some warm up pitches here after a. Uh, Brief intermission. And Pigs was number. Let's hope Pigs is okay. 
after after some uh, some ice and some and some uh, some mild stretching. Potassium. Uh, potassium. Bananas. Time to Banana. go be a salt. Because monkey never. Monkey never top. You wanna? I'll be a field reporter. We will get we will get an injury update briefly. And we are back to the action. Two one count. Two one pitch. Swung on, hit up the middle. One run will score. S runner rounds third. He will hold up. As Eastern Michigan is able to tally their fifth run of the game. First pitch of the at bat cut out and missed. Runner goes. Ball gets away from Roman. There will be no play. The runner on third will not advance. 2 runners in scoring position for Eastern Michigan with only one out. Ball taken upstairs. For ball two. There no kicks and delivers on a fastball on the outside corner taken for strike two. How come they're only doing two games? Or uh, three game series? Um, it's because it's a long drive for Eastern Michigan, Michigan to get out here and they don't want to have to pay for a hotel and stay overnight somewhere as that's a curveball swung on and missed for strike three. I get that. That makes sense. That was fun. Okay. And uh, the the runner got the second on. Thanks, Keel. Or, uh, yeah. First pitch breaking ball in there for a strike one. Fastball chopped over to Liver at second. He has a little trouble coming up with it, but the throw is over and in time. As the Raiders are able to get out of the inning, giving up three runs. As we move to the bottom of the fifth. Oh. Is there a mouse somewhere that's. It's medium. Uh, can't mute this.
Oliver leads off the bottom of the fifth for the Raiders as he takes a first pitch. Ball one. Second pitch, ball two. Never taken a nine hole. Ball chopped just go, go, go. fair. Oh, he fouled it off his toe. Uh oh. Ouch. That never feels good. No, that never does feel good. We don't need any more injuries. Yeah, please, no. Speaking of injuries, for uh, Sean Pigacelli, it was just a hamstring strain. He's currently drinking a lot of Gatorade, stretching that thing out. He Eating should be banana. good. Eating banana. Unfortunately, we do not have any bananas in the dugout, but we'll make sure he eats one after the game. <sighs> Curveball cut on and miss for strike three. Three hours till game time. Okay. Bringing up Jordan Dish. First pitch breaking ball cut on and follow the back. Sat back nicely on that one. Just need to sit back a little more. Come on, Jordan. Let's get something started here. Another breaking ball cut on and miss. Strike two. Raiders are very well in this game. Just need to get a couple hits going. Another curve ball. Swung on and missed for strike three. As Price is able to retire back to back MSOE batters via the strikeout. You know, having the last name Price and being a pitcher, I mean, already set up for uh, being a good pitcher. Adds that. Talent is able to ambush the first pitch breaking ball and rope it through the hole. He's swinging on a hot stick today. That's a multi-hit game for him today. I wouldn't be surprised if Talon was definitely sitting curveball because he, you know, he just saw him throw three straight to uh, Mr. Ohat. Bringing up now a third baseman, Gavin Wood. El Presidente. First pitch fastball. Checked his swing. Ab absolutely. A strike. Swinging. Looking. Doesn't matter. Fastball off the corner. Ball one. One one. Fastball chopped to short. He will take the short out at second. And the side is retired. We will move to the top of the sixth.
Top of the sixth here. Bruno Bosman still on the bump. Roman. Skorupa behind the plate. We got Gavin Wood at third. We got Talon at short. Liver at second. Alex at first. We got Hudson out and left. Jordan Dish in center. And finally in right field, we got Cameron DeBoer. So I think the official statement on Pig was he got like a hamstring cramp. Already been said. Already been said. What? Already got it. Really got it? Already? Mm -hmm. Damn, you guys are on top of me. Bruno able to work ahead here to get an 0 2 count early. Let's see what he goes with here. Fastball away, ball one. <laughs> no. No. <coughs> one, two. Breaking ball popped. Towards short, drifting more towards shallow left. Talon. Able to get underneath and make the play for out number one. On a grounding cut right there. He made that catch. Yeah, he did, did he make that catch, folks? Bruno looking in. We will wind up. First pitch. Fastball in the inside corner. Routed towards Alex. He will take it himself. Can you just Bruno paints a corner with a first pitch fastball. Okay. Breaking ball misses miss. off the inside corner. Miss. Oh no. Very good. Smooth, good, good, good. He's definitely slipped on that. <laughs> yeah. ah. That's a ball hammered through the hole on the left side for a base hit. Clear the count. Oh, what? You like my butt beans? It's fine. It's First pitch fine. misses upstairs for ball one. Oh, Bruno. Hey, you got it in you. Quick inning. Zero. Second pitch lined up the play. middle. Oh, that's a Jordan, play. Jordan nice. unable to come on and make a catch, but he will not get down limiting. Perhaps the right decision. Absolutely. That's a tough play to get a good read. You can't yeah. come in on it. You can't lay out because otherwise that ball gets by you. That could be two Probably runs. Probably an inside yeah. marker. That yeah. could be two runs rolling all the way to that 400-foot marker out in center field. Yeah. Actually, Imagine a 400-foot hot dog. <laughs> it's a big hot dog. That's a pretty big hot dog. Yeah. As the first pitch from Bruno misses ball one. How do you even cook that? Damn, down goes like you, you cook <laughs> it all at once, or? Ball ripped you need, foul. You, no, you need a pretty big grill to grill that thing. I'd say about 400 feet. I would say you have to grill it in, like, segments, you know? Yeah, you nah, 400 foot grill. Nah, 400, yeah, 400 <laughs> foot grill. <laughs> or, I can, get, I can get behind that. You could, you could build, like, you could just hold it over a volcano. And then you can do that, too. As that okay, ball. Like it over a fire. This is below the zone. 2-1. Two one. No. Against the Cubs? Assad did. Assad did. He was supposed to start today. Oh, really? Pitch misses yeah. upstairs. Oh, ball three. Fantasy says. Oh. They were wrong. Yeah, they were wrong. It says next schedule starts Saturday, April 20th versus Marlins. In the bottom it could be a night game. They have doubleheader today. Oh, well, they, they do, do have doubleheader. As that 3-1 pitch is skied towards left field, drifting over his talent underneath it. He's able to put away Eastern Michigan here in the sixth. Now we got a shot here to get back. Raiders really need to get some base runners, score some runs here in the bottom of the sixth to give themselves a chance. Need about two.
Leading off, Anybody bottom of the so sixth, uh, Alex it Thurman. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But, like, ideally, I wouldn't like to just sort of pull outside. Great. Great walk up song. I played like 0. 0.2 seconds of this. <laughs> Good hack, Alex. It's first pitch swung on a miss for strike one. Like I said, if there's nobody else to do it, what kind of I am more than welcome to do it. Get through, get through. Ball oh. grounded to third. And Throw on the first. Almost threw away. A little high. That third baseman's like seven feet tall, man. Was that their pitcher from the last game? The yeah, first he, baseman? I think the he, he came in in relief. Oh. The last pitch of the last game. The uh, I think, I think seven was the left tall fielder. guy that... I think it was the left fielder. 19? He might have been. Do we have their lineup from the last game? Music. Ay, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's on you. That strikes on you, Aiden. Yeah, it is. First pitch, strike one. I think he likes to hear his music, though. He does. He likes to get a kiss. <laughs> and make it last forever. Second oh, pitch, misses ball. That is Rowan's grouper for you. Ah. Hey, that's only the second time you made Ball, off the outside corner ball, two. I love Rowan. You will see Roman he in a nightcap as D2, MSOE D2 Club Baseball faces off against UWN. That's a doubleheader that starts at 5 p.m. Big loopy curveball in there for strike two. See, this pitcher, he does have really good stuff, but I think his tempo is what's really dictating this game here. Because... Another loopy curveball taken for strike three. Really strike, but that'll be a strike here in NCBA. This pitcher's really dictating this game here today, don't you think, Aiden? Yeah, like, I think so. His stuff, he's not throwing harder than 75, but his tempo, like, the batters are in the box, and they're just, they don't have a chance to react. They're not able to get set, really. I think what they need to do is dictate their own, dictate their own pace. Yep. And I think that's just, uh, that's just being behind. They want to get up there and they want to hit, but they're not ready to really go sometimes guys getting on them before they're really mentally in the right mind. Ooh, that might be one that he went back. Yeah. Fastball taken on the inside corner for strike one. A little in. Maybe, but if he was ready. Bruno's going to burn that left fielder here, though. I'm calling it. That left fielder's playing like... That left fielder's playing really shallow. Curveball spun up man. there. That's like 200 foot fences. Bounced in. Bruno does hit a lot of balls into mm. left field. Not mm. a lot of luck with the Wind is, is not doing him any favors yeah, here. Wind is not doing anybody no, any favors. No, but he will put one off the fence. Swung on out the left field. Uh, just got under it. Drifting just back. in front of it. Wow. Makes oh. a catch. Oh. You no, know, I think we're making this pitcher look better than he really is.
Five. Top of the seventh. As a pitch is swung on and hammered down the left field line out of play. That was called a grand slam two weeks ago. A week ago, homie. That was towards the War Memorial over there. Yeah. Sounds Somebody's like got a good. problem with war vets, I guess. <laughs> we don't like those kinds in these parts. Second pitch misses outside ball one. These parts. America. We respect our veterans. We do. Breaking ball misses inside. Line drive over the head of Hudson. A misplay that should have been an out. As he rounds second, header for third. He will be in there. Pitch misses outside. It's crazy that uh, Cosmo was in the Disney College program. It's great. One oh pitch is in there for a strike. Good job, Bruno. When you get down there, fastball misses up and in. Breaking ball swung on him, missed strike two. Way out in front of it. Pulling his shoulder way out, looking right at Woody. He swings through the bat. We got for food back around here. Zone. Ball fall back. Popcorn. That's not food. <laughs> it's snacks. They got uh. There's, there's, yeah, there's, there's, there's there should be JJ's close to here. There should be a cops. Yeah. I don't want nothing that heavy. There's like a there's like a bar and grill called the Brick, I think. That's pretty good. Probably there, gonna get yeah. like Jimmy John's after this ball. There's a Jimmy John's. Um, you can go to Speedway. They got some gas station food. Decent. What? Nope. We are not muted. Bruno, come set for the one, the two, two. Swung on, chop by. Balls fouled off the mask of Roman and McDonald's. Microball by Bruno. Check Bruno, that. I like the I like the idea because. That does work a lot. Taking that high curveball, all you guys think it's a fastball. And then they're way out in front of me. Oh, oh, big swing and a miss on a curveball in the dirt. Roman able to come up with it and retire the out at first base. Well done. I mean, you couldn't have drawn it up any better. Dr. Dog. That hitter was the lost big out. The box. Big out right there. Dr. Dog. Beautiful pitch. Oh, Dr. Dog, I've been there. I've never... I never heard of it. Doctor Dog. I've heard of it. It's pretty good, from what I've heard. Wait, interesting. You know the uh, D three baseball team is sponsored by the Brick. Just like right Ball now, hammered onto short. Oh, oh my Talon God! Makes an error. Very Talon, un un very able to come up with it. of Talon. He's he's a Gold Glove defender over there at shortstop. Man, Woody's really pushing for that shortstop role. Are you First pitch misses upstairs for ball one.
I could pitch breaking ball below the zone. Fifteen? No, it's zero. No, it's at fifteen. Hot. Why? Why are we losing sixteen to one? Six. Six runs, right? Six. Six runs. Oh. Fastball catches the outside corner. Strike. There we go. There we go. There we go. We fixed it. Ball four. Sorry. These buttons are not very clear. They never are. Curveball goes behind the runner, or behind the batter. Ball fouled back for a strike. Yeah, no, I had no idea what that meant. They called me both the trigger for a little bit. Yeah, no, for you Cubs fans out there, Patrick Wisdom hits a go ahead triple off the right field wall to score two as the Cubs take a 2 0 lead. Your White Sox fans out no there. No one cares. They uh, no don't win cares. many games. No one cares about the White Sox. There are no White Sox. They're terrible. Out there. They uh, they need to sell the team. They the owner, Jerry Reinsdorf, get him out of here. He's senile at this point. Roman being an athlete back there, knocking that ball down. <laughs> well, no. Brewers are losing oh. now, two to four. Twins are up two nothing. I have a lot. I'm sure, Liver's wondering how they're doing. Good Alex. effort by Alex there. Lay out for the ball. Throw out at home. No, I, no play at home. So you think y'all want popcorn? I'm not eating it. No, I was not eating it. I made it for the group. It's okay. I'm just Nikes. Holy shnikes. Uh, Pierce said to fix the scoreboard. It has been fixed. New pitcher on the mound for the MSOE Raiders, Gavin Wood. Comes set with one out and a runner on first and third. Delivers a little breaking ball cutter action. Backdoor slider. In there for strike one.
Runner goes. Yeah. Throw does not go anywhere. I'm going to go to a punch out now. One one. It's one one. It's one one. It's one one. What are you? That ball's fouled off. It's now one two. I had to have my Woody delivers the one to foul ball. Oh, rundown. He tags him out. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hey, great play by Gavin Wood. Not quite sure what happened there, but. Why would they do uh, that? That's the second out of the inning. What you, good heads up, good heads up defense by the Raiders there. Here's the basis. Count is 2 2 now. Good pitch by Woody. Just outside a little bit. It is actually you too. You're keeping up, Chip. When he delivers a full count, pop up. Oh, that might drop. Uh, okay. Uh, oh. Fastball misses inside. Fastball in there for a strike. Wait, where is James? Is that true? Uh, yeah, yeah, how do you get the second one? Uh, yeah. hmm? How do you get the second one? I don't know. It was uh, out between like third and home. There's actually there's one that's. Um, that dude uh, hit a base hit for a while. The one like right next to the coffee shop. It's cheap. It's cheap. Fastball catches the outside corner for strike two. Good pitch. Mm -hmm. Eight, Less than a hundred. Yep. So. Okay. Just wanted to double track. Make sure. Make sure. Make sure Chip got it right. Uh, Ball right skied field. towards right field. Cameron, Cameron DeBoer tracking. Oh. Off his glove. Unable to come up with it. One one. 
I know who you're talking about. You were, weren't you? Oh. Oh. I was there when uh, Carson was still there. Yeah. You all know how that went. One, one. Oh, slap foul. Third base coach can't come up with it. That'll go down as an E5C. You need to get softer hands. Hopefully Woody can punch him out here. Ball grounded a short. This should do it. See in the bottom of the seventh. All right, welcome to the top, the bottom of the seventh for the Raiders. Hudson Arne, Arnie to lead us off after this quick mound him. visit. Gets on base. Gets on base. They love him because he gets on base. This man gets on base like nobody else. He knows every strike zone, another yeah. man. Yeah. He knows how to raise him with the <laughs> No, he gets his own fire. <laughs> and the OO -oh delivery popped up. Little bit of yeah, trouble yeah, for yeah. the first baseman, but he reaches out and makes the play for out number one. That brings up number seven, Cameron DeBoer. He, today, this game, he is 0 for 2 with two Ks. However, game one, he did get a pinch hit base hit just over the second baseman's head. Uh, strike off the plate, but on the white of the other batter's box. Still called, though. 0-1. Swing and a miss. Catcher lets that by for an 0-2 count. Need a big inning here for the Raiders. Down eight runs after a little bit of some shaky defense and a lot of walks. But that'll happen late in ball games. People are getting tired. Cam can uh, rip one up the middle here. Curveball up. Looks like a little bobble by the catcher. One, two. And the one, two pitch. Swing and a miss. High fastball got him. This brings up number 26, Oliver Hollerong. Um, this game... 0 for 1 coming in for Sean Kennedy, but uh, last game, I believe he had a, a solid game at the plate. Don't have the stats in front of me right now, 
as he rips one to center field up and caught. That'll be the game. Uh, tune in at 5 o'clock for a D3 start, D2 start of their doubleheader at 5. Against right. UWM. Against UWM. Uh, Raiders take two and clinch the, the Great Plains Central. All right. Thank you for watching and have a good night.